factor. This is about oxidation reduction reactions. They're also known as what they call redox reactions, and they're just shortening the oxidation reduction. And when you have a redox reaction, what you find is that it has to involve electron transfer. So there has to be one, one electron at least transferred in the thing. Um, when you have oxidation and reduction, they both must occur simultaneously. So you can't just have oxidation or you can't just have reduction. You have to have them together. They're like a yin and a yang. They, they occur at the same thing. Um, when you have electron transfer, what that means is that your oxidation numbers change. Um, and if you remember back in your chemical formulas unit, we did oxidation numbers, and that's what we were talking about. Um, common examples of oxidation reduction reactions are anything that's rusting, anytime you burn anything, um, synthesis reactions, single replacement reactions. So there's a lot of common examples um, that this occurs. Um, when you have oxidation, it means you're losing electrons. Um, or it can also mean that you're gaining oxygen, which is why it's called oxidation. Um, reduction means you're gaining electrons or um, you're losing electro um, sorry, you're losing oxygen, which is again why it says reduction there. Um, there's two ways that you can kind of use to remember it. The first way is oil rig. And what it means is OIL means oxidation is losing, and RIG is reduction is gaining. There's also Leo the Lion goes Gur. And um, basically what it means is if you're losing electrons, you're oxidized. And if you're gaining electrons, you're reduced. So either way, you, they're, they're just like common tools people use to remember it. So um, just this is a diagram of it. I'm going to see if my pen lets me write today. Oh, it does today. Good. So, for example, magnesium. Let's see. Does it let me? Or let's try this. My pens are not cooperating. Let's see. Oh, well, let me for a second. All right, well, if, sorry about that, but you're going to have to just ask me in person because I don't know why my pen's not working today. But basically, you're just seeing, like, in this situation, um, you have magnesium, you have sulfur, you're adding them together, and there isn't an actual electron transfer. When we start out the process, these have no charges, so they're both zero. And when we end, um, they both have charges. They have a positive and a negative charge. So there is an electron transfer, and this would be a synthesis reaction, and it would also be considered um, a redox or an oxidation reduction. One thing that's sometimes a little confusing to people is whatever is oxidized is considered the reducing agent because it's allowing reduction to occur. And whatever is reduced is called the oxidizing agent, which is a little confusing. The most common th types of oxidation reduction reactions, and these are not the only ones, but they can occur, um, synthesis, single replacement, and combustion are always going to be considered um, uh, oxidation reduction. So what we're going to do is just show you um, the charges and how they change. So if you remember, um, elements that are by themselves um, are just, okay, why is it not running? Um, are just going to have a charge of zero. So magnesium, zero, oxygen, zero. And then on this side, um, the magnesium has a charge of plus two, and the oxygen is a minus two. So what that means is magnesium went from zero to plus two, he lost electrons, so he is reduced. Or oxidation. He's oxidized, I apologize. Um, for the other guy, oxygen was zero, and he became negative two. He gained electrons, and he would be reduced for that guy. If we look down here, again, the sodium by itself is a zero charge. Okay, it's not liking me, so I need to go like this. Okay, um, so sodium by itself is zero. In the charge here, copper is plus two, chlorine is minus one. When we switch over, now copper is zero, and, that mean, and sodium is plus one, and chlorine is minus one. So sodium goes from zero to plus one, it loses electrons, it's oxidized, and copper goes from plus two to zero, it gains electrons, and it is reduced. 
And then the last one down here, you can actually go through what um, and you can see in this case situation who's changing and who's not. But when you do um, when you do any kind of combustion, this also has a change of um, oxidation numbers. So the oxygen changes because it goes from zero, and so does the, the carbon. So in all situations, you're changing oxidation numbers, which means it has to be a redox reaction.